This video was filmed February 19th, 2023. The truck had 10,286 miles on it and it was time for an oil change. So this is the first part of a long-term experiment around Royal Purple motor oil. I feel like people fall into two camps when it comes to Royal Purple. Either they love it or they hate it. We're gonna see what it actually does to a vehicle long-term. So over the next decade or however long I own this truck, Royal Purple is the only oil that I'm going to use. What I'm hoping for at the very end is an old truck with a lot of miles, and we can see what a lifetime of Royal Purple oil has done to it. And that might help give you some information on whether Royal Purple oil, say that five times fast, will work for you in your application. In full disclosure, this experiment does assume a few things. One, that this vehicle, which I purchased new with I think six miles on it, it came right from the factory, we are going to assume that it had no damage or any incorrect installation of anything when I purchased it. I think that's a fair assumption since it's brand new. The other assumption is that my previous oil change, which was one of the free ones that the dealer covered, March 28th, 2022, when I had 4,961 miles, we are going to assume that that oil change didn't do any damage either. So from the point of this video on, when it only has royal purple, that's when we're going to assume if there is any negative effects that it occurred from this point on. I feel like those are fair assumptions, but I'll leave it up to you to decide whether that's true or not. If you have experience with Royal Purple, I'd love to know your comments down below. Like I said, this is just a fun little experiment while I have this truck, you know, something long term that we can put it to good use for and uh, maybe give you guys some good information. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.